Okay guys, so I'm just doing a quick video to show anyone that's preparing to go and have extractions and an immediate denture um, or either or uh, what you might need afterwards. Um, and this stuff I bought a couple weeks before my procedure, um, just preparing for it. So I wouldn't, I knew I wouldn't feel well enough to go out to the store and have to buy stuff. So, uh, first thing after the extractions, now I dropped something. Oh, um, gauze pads, you'll probably receive some from your dentist, but I bought um, an extra little box just in case um, I didn't know how many they would give me so I got just a little thing at Walgreens um, and that's for the bleeding which is normal after extractions um, I just had the five front ones pulled the last time so I probably used them for a couple hours afterwards and then I think most of my bleeding stopped um, but then if you get your immediate denture I bought a denture bath just to have something to put it in because I think you can use, um, you know, a cup or something, but this has a little tray that you can take out and it has the lid. So the lid makes me feel better since I have kids around <laughs> and they're like a dollar. <clears throat> um, also, what was a lifesaver to me after um, getting the immediate denture for the first few days where you're not used to having something um, in on your gums, I would get canker sores. And so when I would take it out and try to put it back in, I would have pain in my gums. If you wash your mouth out with this after um, you take it out or before you take it out and try to put it back in, this definitely helped numb the gum area so that it doesn't hurt as bad to put back in. So I definitely recommend the Aura Gel uh, mouthwash for mouth sores. And um, this thing, the, it's a oral care kit and I got it, um, it come with this tongue scraper and the tongue scraper helped because in the beginning definitely you'll have extra saliva um, and not even that, just using, if once you start using adhesive, you might have the need to, to scrape your tongue. And this helped um, just get it done better. And it came with the oral kit. Um, the little picks inside also help. You can use them on your denture as well as natural teeth. Um, and then the mirror as well, because then you can see in places that you can't see with a, a big mirror. Um, and little toothbrush, um, I bought a pack of five or more for a dollar. Um, they're just child's toothbrush and I like it because of the, the smaller head of the brush. I can brush the roof of my mouth better, um, like where your palate is. This definitely helped fit into the smaller space if you have a smaller uh, mouth than the big toothbrush. And once you start using adhesive, they say to use powder first on um, the extraction site since they're fresh. And I bought the Polygrip first, the Super Polygrip Extra Strength Powder. And I don't know if it was where I was new to using it, if I didn't use it correctly, but I ended up um, not liking the way that it held on the top, so I ended up buying a different one. Um, lately, I've used the Fixident Extra Hold Powder, and I like it. And before my reline, I was using the C-Bond strips for uppers, and I had to cut them up to make them fit my denture where it, it looks different. But I definitely liked the cushion feeling that it gave uh, before I had the soft reline the other day. But now I haven't used it. But they're definitely good for the cushion. Um, I also tried one day the Fixident with Scope. And I do like the Scope flavor. Um, it's the adhesive cream. And um, I think I like the powder a little bit more. But I do like that it gives you the flavor, the scope flavor. 
So, at first starting out though, you guys will have to use the powder, whatever powder you choose. Um, and that's just recommended, I guess, because of the fresh extraction holes. Um, and then once you feel safe enough, I used, I got mouthwash because you're not used to all that in your mouth. Um, you have fresh extractions and, um, just, it definitely felt better to use mouthwash, um, with a, a, um, fresh breath scent or whatever <laughs> taste, I guess. But, um, I'm not sure when they recommend using mouthwash after the extractions. I probably did it the second day, but I'm, I'm not recommending it if it's not, um, safe. Because this does have alcohol in it. I'm trying to look at the back and read it, but it does have some alcohol in it. So, you might wait to use, um, you might get an alcohol-free one at first. Um... And I think that's all that I have, um, except for regular toothpaste, but this is just for my bottom teeth. And then I have this old makeup caboodle thing that I've been putting everything in, just to put it somewhere, which you guys can get whatever you'd like to put it in. Maybe you have a nice cabinet. I don't have the space, so I got this, and I can carry it around with me when I need to. But, um, I guess that's it for an update on, um, stuff that you need to get to be prepared for extractions and immediate denture. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll do another update. Thanks for watching.